Chat got me pregnant. Subscribe if we should keep it. Subscribe also if you think I should keep in my fart. Too late. Holy shit, I felt my butt cheeks vibrate through it. Oh, it was a silent but a deadly one. I don't want blood on my hands. Go. Save yourself. Now, Jack Duarte is quite popular around this channel. We talked about him the first time was when he was being thrown around like a marshmallow. Another time he goes and he shoulder bumps the public. And when the public wants to fight back, his paid security guards come and defend him. <laughs> what? Well, probably what you gonna do? What are you gonna do? <laughs> But this type of content that Jack posts is a rage bait type of video where he does this on purpose. He knows that it is going to piss off people and it's, you know, people are going to engage with their content and everyone else is going to reshare it, shitting on this guy. But he wasn't always like this. He came into YouTube in a very young age. He was doing normal, you know, kid stuff. But when he gets towards the end of his teens, he started to fall off. And that is where he hacked this rage bait type of thing. And he thinks he has it all figured out. So whenever he stops getting engagement on his whole account he starts feeling like he's fallen off and he's not getting engagement on his content he goes and does the same thing again yo what's up what's up what are you gonna do what are you gonna do little bro what are you gonna do uh oh he's mad uh oh what are you gonna do, little bro? And at the end of every post, he shares this link on go check out my other socials. What is his other socials? Pimping out other girls on OF because that is exactly how he makes his money and he needs engagements for it. And I don't really think he needs that. Jack, if you're watching this video, you don't need to disturb the public to get engagement so you can promote your, you know, your team. You know how many horny men are out there in the internet? You don't need to disturb the public to get them in to engage. They are already engaging, waiting on the OF for the new content. Jack is the type of guy who's fallen so deep into this whole social media thing where every single second of his life is social media. He's the type of guy, if his cat died, first thing he's going to do is... Get the camera's lights on, action! <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I just want to say that my cat just died. And the last words he told me was... <laughs> Yo! <laughs> I can't believe it. She ran away from the home a day ago, but I never expected for this to happen. Wait, cut. Sh show me the video. No. Again. Lights, action! <laughs> guys, I just totaled my Tesla. I don't know what to do. I literally just totaled my Tesla, guys. I don't know what to do, guys. My Tesla is totaled. What do I do? It's fine, guys. I'm just going to steal this moped. It's whatever, guys. He even did a collab with a company who was giving out a Tesla, and they decided to, you know, have a whole competition like boxing matches and other competitions happening in a warehouse. So a lot of people just gathered up together, and this is the part he, again, embarrassed himself. Hey, fucking Michael Orr from fucking Brian's side ass. To be fair, the guy on the right embarrassed himself even more when he... Imagine being put in a missionary by a big black guy. Anyways, but the main thing that, you know, he embarrassed himself the most was he thinks that whenever he posts a video or a picture of him just showing around money or talking about big amounts of money, everyone is just an absolute donkey and they do not understand that this whole thing is fake. His attitude, everything about it. Maybe the money is real, but the things that is coming out of his mouth isn't. All right, guys, I just bought this house last month for 1.925 million and now I'm selling it for 2.25 million, right? Mm -hmm. Quick 300, signed, Later. boom. It's so Sold. Ready? Imaginary champagne. Hot <laughs> on that thing. All right, sure. <laughs> on my hand. Not my hand. <laughs> Miss Realtor Haktua on what what thing? Now the reason why this woman on the right, the realtor, is embarrassing herself because she made a huge chunk of money from this deal. And the reason why Jack is not as happy from his body language is because most of the money that you know he's claiming that he made 300k profit from it, but it is going towards taxes and other things. So in fact, he is losing money, not making money. This person said with transaction fees on both sides and taxes, he made zero dollars, meaning he didn't make zero dollars, but he just lost a huge chunk of money. So 2.25 million times 5%, let's say that's her commission on the whole thing. She made $112,000. I'm not going to pretend like I know how taxes work. I've never lived in the U.S., but if you live in the U.S., you know exactly how much percentage and how much a huge chunk of money is going to be taken from that $2.25 million. But even though Jack lost a huge chunk of money and made zero profit from this whole thing, 
his life is all about content so he's going to post it either way and claiming you know for the kids who are watching and who don't know how taxes and you know commissions and all these things work they'll be believing it and they'll be like oh my god he's so smart i want to be like him he made three hundred thousand dollar profit oh my god and honestly if i made hundred twelve thousand dollars on a deal if i was a realtor i would probably say something really embarrassing the second that paper gets signed i'll probably say something like i got a boner i, I don't know what i'm gonna say i never close a deal for hundred twelve thousand dollars i guess Maybe one day we'll find out. And another thing I wanted to talk about is actually an update about a situation that went viral just last year in Halloween. If you remember that uh, giant guy, his Jack Storty, where he punched this guy into paradise. Don't touch me! No, I'm just saying, what? Oh, you're what? Right. You're all saying, what? What are you talking to, though? I'm just saying, y'all say, don't touch walk. Don't walk. To this say, I have no idea how this guy got up and pretended like nothing absolutely happened. Wait, where is he? Where is his face? Oh yeah, he, he just stood up right away. And in February of 2022, Jack Doherty was being sued by that green guy because his bodyguard has anger management issues. And usually in these situations, if you're a YouTuber or a content creator who is, you know, in risk of getting sued by a lot of people, either you do good or bad things, you can be either CoffeeZilla or Jack Doherty, you get yourself a lawsuit insurance in case of anything, they'll be covering it for you. But unfortunately for Jack Doherty, he thought his insurance is going to cover this lawsuit. That's why he wasn't really breaking a sweat but his lawsuit insurance state farm said that their policy doesn't cover him for the lawsuit he's facing over the halloween fight they also said that here's the deal jack is being sued for assault and battery by a man who claims the youtuber and his bodyguard beat him up at a party a few days before halloween last year but little does jack know that state farm says that jack is not actually covered here because not only the policy not cover willful acts that cause bodily harm he also posted a video of the fight on his social pages and is using it, using the footage as part of his business, which is also not covered under the policies. So the fact that Jack, after the video, went on and said, Oh my God, holy shit, did that just happen? Cameraman, did you get it? You got it? Okay, you're not fired. Makes every single second of it into content. And the first thing that this guy got knocked out, the green guy, first thing came into his mind was a viral content. And because of that, it breaks the policies with his insurance. And this is just one of the things. And is basically his insurance is not going to cover him. So it is going to come out of his pocket. So even if he did make money, 300 grand from that uh house he is not going to be saving any money because the insurance company pulled out and he is on his own so let's see how long he can do this pimping lifestyle let's see how what the future holds for mr jack doherty if anything happens i'll keep you updated but it is not looking good for him but anyways let me know your thoughts in the comments below like subscribe you know the rest take care of yourself i'll see you the next one